unexpected pleasure in store for you. Let's see if you can move at a bit of whopping two miles an hour. Like, so you better watch your children. Now before we get started on our tour though, I draw some safety reminders for you. First one is, can you guys reach your left and put on those seatbelts? Hey look! Just kidding, there aren't any, but I do ask that you remain seated with your arms, legs, head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes, eyes, ears, mouth and nose, inside the belt at all times. If you guys can hear me, can I get a big thumbs up? The first stop on our tour here on your left is Rocky the Water Buffalo. He stands at six feet tall and was constructed out of 310,000 Lego bricks. Do you guys know what Rocky says to his son every morning? He says, bye, son. Now, coming up here on your right, just past these rocks, we have Barb and Gertrude, our mom and Palm Turtles. They're perfect so slowly. It's like they're not moving at all. Do you guys know what turtles use to call their friends? They use a shell phone. Now, coming up here on your left, you'll see Oscar the ostrich. He's a little shy though, that's why his head is stuck in the ground. Up uh, next as we approach the coast of Africa, we meet Ashley the elephant. She stands at 7 feet tall and was constructed out of 282,000 Lego bricks. Everybody wave hi to Elsie. Wave hi to Elsie. Did you guys know that elephants can grow up to 4 feet? 2 in the front and 2 in the back. Oh no, up ahead it looks like two of our Lego friends are in trouble. I don't know how much longer I can hang on. Whoa, down below. Help! I've got it. Just hang on. Whoa. Ah! Don't worry, guys. He's been up there for the past 22 years now. I don't think he's going to let go anytime soon. Lego. Is that the water 
Lego Master Builders have built some wonderful models for us all to see. So today we're going to take you on a world tour. We're going to start off here in London, England, where we have the Elizabeth Tower and the London Eye. A fun fact about the Elizabeth Tower is that the balance side is called the Big Ben. And a fun fact about our version is that the time is correct. If you don't believe me, you can check your phone. Do you guys know our Eagle is considered the wettest country in the world? Because the Queen has been there for years. Straight ahead is our Lions Gate Bridge. Each line on top is constructed out of 17,000 Lego bricks, and I certainly ain't lying about that. Now, we also like to call this bridge the Waffle Bridge, because as we go under, if you look up, it looks like a giant waffle. Lego, my ego. If you guys don't mean the joke, it just went right over your heads. We have now reached the Taj Mahal in India. The real Taj Mahal was built in the 17th century. It took 22,000 workers and 20 years to build. Ours didn't take nearly that long, but it is made of 143,000 Lego bits. Now ours, of course, is much smaller than the real one, so we like to call this one the Taj Mahal. Much small. As we sail away from India, we approach Paris, France with the Eiffel Tower. The real Eiffel Tower was built in 1889. It stands at 1,000 feet tall and weighs 10,000 tons. Or is it nearly that big, but it is made of 117,000 Lego bricks. Now if you guys go all the way to the top and look down, you'll get a real Eiffel. Straight ahead is Lego Falls. Lego Falls is the smallest model on the park and is constructed out of, you guessed it, zero Lego bricks. We are now making our way back to the United States of America where we have Mount Rushmore. We have the four presidents, George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, Peter Roosevelt, and Abraham Lincoln. All four faces use a combined total of 230,000 Lego bricks. What? Come on, George. Don't you have a backbone? Honestly, you two. Those people are listening. Quit picking on George. Oh, come on, Lincoln. Where's your sense of humor? It's been four score and seven years since you said something funny, Teddy. And it'll be seven score and four years until you do again. Just ignore them, George. What? We also have two extra characters for you on top. The bushes. Straight ahead is the Statue of Liberty in the New York City skyline. Our Statue of Liberty stands at six feet tall and was constructed out of 122,000 Lego bricks. And it took eight million Lego bricks to build all of New York City. Here in many lands, USA. Not only do we have New York City, but we also have San Francisco, Las Vegas, Washington, D.C., and a few more other cities with it. All of many lands, USA, it is a combined total of 60 million Lego bricks. Now coming up here on your left, you'll see a pile of rocks. Normally I'd make a joke about it, but you'll probably take it for granted. Now as we make our way back under the Lionsgate Bridge, on a count of three, I want you to make your loudest roar. One, two, three. We have now arrived at the New England Harbor. Keep your eyes open because you never know what might happen on the shoreline. 
Uh oh, looks like this is a bit of a dress cube ahead. Well, we got homework. You're doing great. I think the time is starting to come around. Keep it going. Up and down. Up and down. Keep it going. Up and down. Up and down. Really good. Keep it going. Don't worry, guys. It seems to be coming around. I guess we'll just need a little plastic surgery. We are going to reach the end of our tour for We're going to finish it off then with our resident octopus band. The octopus band was consists of using 288 pounds of Lego bricks. We also have two special guests on stage. Paul, they're trapped the other guitar. And we've done boxes on the plant. Now I'm going to say this band is quite magical. They're sampled at octopus and they're doing a touch job. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your time. Thank you
Adventure HQ. Please take your seats and use your treasure tracker to see what we can discover. Hold on to your bricks, recruits. We are ready to dive. Here we go. Master Diver here. There's incredible sea creatures and treasure to discover out in the deep. We're gonna have a whale of a time. <laughs>
Please remain seated until the operator can assist you with exiting. When exiting, please watch your step. The platform is moving. Por favor, permanezcan.
for the bell about now. notice the number you're standing on and make a mental note of it because I won't remember. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, that's it. Just find it on our nerves. Okay, have you got it? Good. Okay, now the reason you will need this number is that you will use the same number when you get the chance to board one of the master builder's inventions. It's, it's crazy, right? You're gonna get to fly around cloud cuckoo land. This is only possible because one master builder just so happened to design something large enough to fit all of you. Okay, spoiler alert, it was me. The best part is, it's right behind me. Under this earth is something that's so amazing can only be described as awesome. Actually, it's better than that. It's awesome -er. Which is slightly more awesome than awesome. Without further ado, I present to you the Triple Decker Flying Couch. Now, I will acknowledge it bears some striking similarities to the Double Decker Couch, but this one is totally different. As you can see, it has three levels, which is one more than two. Also, it flies. That's super useful. Let's say you're hanging out with some friends and you want to change locations so that nobody feels like moving their butt off the couch. Boom! This can do that! As your pilot today, I am responsible for showing you how to ride this. That seemed like a lot of work, so I produced a video instead to inform you of important safety announcements. Okay, roll the video! Tonight on Where Are My Pants? Honey, where are my pants? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's one of my favorite episodes. Man, never gets old. It is, however, not super relevant. Ah, here we go. For the enjoy. That was totally awesome! I love instructions! And following them will help keep you safe, just like washing your hands and not eating gum off the ground. Not that I did that, but you shouldn't. You shouldn't do that. Oh, one last thing. You may have seen signs about a possible Duplo invasion. Do not worry about that. They will not show up today unless they do, which can happen. But it won't, I think. Also, if for any reason anyone would like to back out of today's flying experience, you may do so now by exiting through the departure doors. For those of you who choose to stay, I can't wait to see you on board! It's gonna be awesome! Alrighty, everybody! As a reminder, all heads do need to come up to the first time to an assembly of master builders. They may be unable to control their excitement. Fellow master builders, I present to you my latest invention, the Triple Decker Flying Couch! <laughs> Is everyone ready? Let the competition begin! Hey! Let's go! I should point out this is my first time in flight. Also, uh, this will be the first time this vehicle has been tested in flight, so there may be some enjoyments. Go, go, go! 
Yeah! 